Good morning, everyone. I'm Ken. I'm the founder of Xverse. I've always been fascinated by this city and how connected it is to the global, to the world. As a global hub, the spirit of this city is perfectly captured by its airport. It's a master plan system, not just designed for departures and arrivals. It forms the core of a multimodal network. And as you land, you're presented with many options to take you to your next destination. The airport express, the ferries, the buses. It's a well-designed, interconnected system that works. Today, the digital economy built on Bitcoin needs the same kind of thoughtful and ambitious design. I'll explain how shortly. First, let's look at the current state. So right now, in, we're seeing a wave of institutional adoption. And the stats are pretty impressive so far. $152 billion in ETF total net assets in the US alone. That's more than 6.5% of the total Bitcoin market cap. But there's a trade-off. We're giving up control for convenience. You don't really own the Bitcoin. It's like being sold a ticket, but not actually being able to use it or put it to work. So we have our digital gold, but we risk getting it stuck. But hope is not lost. There are promising signs. A shift is happening from centralized to decentralized. Bitcoin balance on centralized exchanges is at an all-time low. 11%. And the major exchanges have all launched self-custodial Web3 wallets. Marking a shift back towards the Bitcoin ethos, decentralized and trustless. There's in fact a powerful new wave that is coming. This new wave is about allocating a percentage of Bitcoin on-chain. DeFi Llama reported $8 billion in TVL in Bitcoin DeFi and staking earlier this week. That's up 1,200% from a year ago. We're still early, so retail really has an opportunity here to front run the institutions. In a market without the guarantees of price appreciation, sustainable yield trumps all. At $8 billion, it's not the largest, but it's larger in TVL than many other ecosystems. But how do we take this further? At Xverse, we've been pioneers in this space. Anyone in the audience hold ordinals or runes? Were you lucky enough to inscribe the first 100K? Back when you had to do it with a full node, and the command line. Then Xverse changed the game when it comes to user experience. What about runes? Did you receive your dog on Xverse? We were the first wallet to support protocols on L1, like ordinals and runes. And we gave millions of users a ticket to new cultural communities. At the same time, we helped create wealth for many of the early adopters. If you were simply an early ordinals holder, you would have received airdrops worth north of $10,000. The simple fact is that L1 protocols changed the way we build on Bitcoin. It pushed the Bitcoin blockchain to its limits and spawned a new wave of innovation, new meta protocols, and L2s. Following the analogy from earlier, having all use cases compete for space on the base layer of Bitcoin is like using slow cargo ships for people, mail, and goods. That might have been sufficient for a past age, but we have many choices now. Our thesis at Xverse is that different use cases require different technology. 
you wouldn't take the plane to Shenzhen from here. You would take the train. But you wouldn't take the train to New York City. For Bitcoin Fi to thrive, we need layers, and not just one. As I alluded to earlier, we need a multimodal system with Bitcoin as the stable foundation. Remember when every other person was building a Bitcoin L2? We've been working closely with teams to curate and carefully choose the L2s to support. We supported Stacks from the beginning for its smart contracts and self-custody Bitcoin on an L2 without requiring changes to Bitcoin itself. We added support for StarkNet recently for its smart contract platform that can trustlessly settle to Bitcoin via zero-knowledge proofs. And this brings us to the elephant in the room. Besides financialization, what about the peer-to-peer -peer origins of Bitcoin? We've always been focused on staying true to the original ethos of Bitcoin. Bitcoin Fi is the future, and a simple, fast, scalable peer-to-peer -peer payment system is still needed. This is why Xverse is proud to announce the integration of a new L2 today. So why Spark? It's a Bitcoin L2 that enables instant self-custodial payments in Bitcoin or stablecoins, and is compatible with Lightning. Xverse will be the leading Bitcoin wallet to support Spark. You can try out today on Xverse extension and soon on mobile. Just like Bitcoin's origin story and the first wave of financialization, you will miss out if you look away. If Bitcoin's past is anything to go on, its on-chain future looks poised to explode. Thank you. <laughs>